A while ago, I found this movie on Google Images, so I added to the list. And this movie is called The Keep, dated all the way back to 1983. The Keep is a British horror war fantasy film written and directed by Michael Mann, starring Scott Glenn, Gabriel Byrne, Jürgen Prochnow, Alberto Watson, and Ian McKellen. It was released by Paramount Pictures. The story is based on the F. Paul Wilson novel and the same name, originally published in 1981. Brief story on the first book and the movie, Nazi troops in World War II Romania awaken a supernatural evil when they set up camp in an ancient stone fortress. And this movie, based on the book, wasn't a B movie to begin with. It was going to be a big film. But so much history of interference and clips and plot taken out as well, special effects guy who worked on 2001 Space Odyssey and etc. He sadly passed away in between the film being made and everyone else had to quickly hire another person. Unfortunately, the film was never properly finished and went against the director's vision in every way. And the actors are upset as well. Michael Mann himself Clips and plot and battle between the supernatural beings are lost to time. However, I'm editing this film and adding the alternate ending and adding missing sound effects and some polishing as possible. Plus the film is only 86% complete, so it's a little bit, it's just a little longer. This is not an official thing as people in the past already tried restoring this film also on Blu-ray, but can't get the rights and unable to get the extra stuff. And mostly the, the director refuses on behalf. Maybe it's probably because out of fear and being screwed over again. What do I mean by that is that studios and productions and the companies that provide the movie for you back then and in the late 2000s, they would heavily use screen testings and just like they would botch the film to make it like PG-13 in order to get the biggest uh, variety of people audience, which ends up ruining loads of films. But in this case, uh, uh, they just quickly rushed the movie because they had a lot of money in their hands and they can make a lot of money and profit out of it. The big critics at the time had uh, mixed feelings about the film and Looking into the interviews of Michael Mann and so many videos out there already on YouTube covering about this film, the making of this movie behind the scenes and the extra stuff that was deleted and some of the uh, interviews of Michael Mann when it was aired on TV. He wanted to have like a dream aesthetic of the book. Now the thing is, misconception on the director's movie his, uh, besides heavily interfered, his vision of the film. Now, he didn't want it exactly to be spot on to the books. He was intrigued about the book, the story. And he was hoping he would take some, he would take the book and make it into his own kind of dream logic. I haven't got, I haven't got the book because it's bloody expensive and hard to get. Um, the keep, I don't know, there's a lot of people saying that it's to do with vampires and there's people saying it's to do with demons and there's people that saying it never had to do with vampires people thought there were vampires but they're demons so i don't know speaking of the book the key written by uh, f paul wilson but i didn't know there was a was a book series called the adversary cycle the keep was in 1981 the tomb was in 1940. The tomb was in 1984. The touch was in 1986. And then reborn was in 1990. Reprisal was in 1991. And the final one, Night World, was in 1992. Now, I didn't even know this was a series of books. So, The Keep is actually just the prologue of all the other books because in the far future than in the World War II. The rest set in current years. I, re I recommend you look it into the books because they're very interesting. You get, get There's a lot more information, a lot more to do with uh, the main villain, Mosala, and some new characters and some intriguing stuff. 
Now, what I've done here is that I spent nearly five weeks, I think it's five weeks, um, repolishing this uh, Michael Mann's The Keep film. After all the information I've uh, gathered and found, I tried to restore the film, including quality, color, scenes, and missing special effects. Let's go through uh, the differences between scenes and this. I finished the film, I got so tired and I want to move to other stuff. I'm going to later in the far future, I will re-render this film properly because the, unfortunately the program didn't render it properly in terms of quality wise so it looks a bit pixelated here and there. Besides that, it's a massive improvement in terms of color and some little details here and that you probably miss or don't. And I actually added uh, the alternate ending and added its special effects. I also added a little extra ending at the end of the film where it has a blog of the characters and what happens in the current year. Now, first let's start with the scenes between the original scenes and my scenes in terms of color contrast and color white. Is that the entire film I've edited all the way through contrasting different colors. Sort of a transition more fluid so you can barely tell but it's it's all there you just you can't tell but so it gets to colorful sometimes you get a bit of blue more prominent blue a bit more uh, orange a bit more saturated a bit more gray you know all these go throughout the film now let's start with sounds it's between sound audio and that and my re-edited version of the film this includes uh, not just sound new added sound effects but also prompting up the audio as most of the audio in the film was either staticky or you could clearly hear it was clearly dubbed over and they didn't polish it up properly digitally edited the uh, audio of the characters and what they're saying so it's more clear understanding what they're saying because when you watch the film it's very hard to hear what they say you have to turn up the volume as everything else is extremely loud including the music so yeah it's not very well sir why not we should be in russia for what? the final assault on moscow we could transfer but by the time you got there russia would have gone like france belgium holland all the rest we are all done fighting now we are the masters of the world despise our ruthlessness. Well, you do not grab history by the throat and write the next 1,000 year future without brutality and courage! Fairy tales, Kenza. Romantic fairy tales. You tell yourself. Then dress up in black and silver so you can look in the mirror and maybe believe them. I fault, I right, I feel her.
3, Special Effects. Now, I try not to go fully far into the George Lucas realm of adding too much overlaid the effects in like of the original Star Wars films. No, I try to get into more of just adding what was missing, what, what felt missing in the scenes, not let's overly make it more supernatural, just some, as some bits here and there that felt needed. In the realm of what 1983 would have done if the special effects guy was still there. So at, at, if it was at one of the German soldiers find a cross that's glowing and he goes towards it and he gets his buddy and they open up what because they thought it was silver, you know, silver and treasure to them and then probably be more silver. Unfortunately, they release the demon that's kept in the keep, prisoned. Both of the soldiers die. The first one gets obliterated from the inside of the uh, the tunnel. The other one gets flown back while his soul and him evaporates into, into pieces. His soul getting sucked out is that I add a glow effect around his face, hands, so it's a brief little scene, but it's it's a big improvement you'll have you'll see. And I also added effect with the villain, Mosala, his eyes. I made it more glowy, made it more promptly, and some scenes you will get where his eyes glow more radically out of anger or just out of pure evilness, I guess. And some scenes where I added some like just quick flashes of light, um, like explosions or uh, some shooting with the guns. Or the scene where Mosala restores uh, Ian McKellen's character to get on his good side, you know, use him, you know, make him healthy again as he has an ill sickness that traps him and he's slowly dying from it. Most of the entire movie is color, color contrasted, but with more sound effects, and it was such a pain to edit, but I think my favorite special effects edit out of the entire film is the ending. So I added more uh, color contrasting. I added some uh, more prominent the light up eyes and I even added um, a little subtle special effects edit here and you can't even tell unless you've seen the original edit. There's a hand difference uh, like Mosala's hand. In the original edit uh, he puts his hand, he's about to kill the main characters, but in my edit, you can see his hand, a lighting, lightning bolt effect on his hand, that's piercing. So I added that, which is a little, a little extra something, but I think it works, because he's about to kill them. And I think my favorite bit is that the, uh, the demise of Mosala, where, but I, it's, it's the uh, talisman with the pole thing connected to it. But in the books, it's a, it's a sword. So here's a, here's a bit here. Bolt of lightning from the talisman. The back of him, you can see there's blood. But I th but it, what, I thought it was from the energy from the talisman. No, it's not. It's the it's it's basically it's actually blood from him coming out on the backside. So that's a little detail I didn't even notice. It's pretty cool. And there's some two scenes that felt weird. Three actually. <clears throat> One was the way they edited the end sequence of the hero and the villain getting defeated. Is that there was a cut between them. It didn't felt right, so I re-edited that. It looks much more better. And there was two extra scenes that felt missing. They showed off um, Mosala getting his energy sucked down. And there's a bit where he, he slightly goes up wits. And there's like little lights come behind him. But that cuts the vertical scene that he's not there and all the smoke getting sucked in and there's another scene of a close-up that has nothing there And, and it just felt like 
there's a scene where Mo Salah has lightning behind him, but he gets light effects all over him, and then he just evaporates and gets sucked into the bloody um, gateway to the prison or whatever. And there was supposed to be like a scene where his hand reaches out and goes back in. That was like my preference that I actually really well edited in. Might be a little bit in, not convincing, if, but it works. I try to make it as good as possible, including the hand effect, which didn't really. I don't know. There's a, there's something a little bit. I think the color and the uh, grading is a little bit off, but I think it works perfectly. Because it's just a subtle that it didn't take long, did it? I also added um, optical light effects. And trying to mimic them as like the original effects they had in the beginning of the film. Now, here's a big one a lot of people will love is the ending for the uh, hero, the the uh, hero Glocken who uh, trapped uh, Mosala in the keep for generations. Now, in the original edit, he was sucked out and trapped in there. But originally, and in the book, he was um, he killed off Mosala, but he came back and became mortal. Um, he fulfilled a, uh, a task, then he, uh, he was rewarded to be mortal, to live a happy life, not in eternity, and probably get up together with uh, Eve, Ian McKellen's character's daughter. And they, you know, probably get together and... You know. So here's the scene where he gets sucked out and uh, McKellen's uh, character's daughter gets uh, absolutely devastated that he, he's... The story was... The, the story is clearly that, that Glocken kills uh, Mosala. He too will have the same fate. They sort of... It's sort of like a connection vibe thing. Sort of like Voldemort in Harry Potter. Mm, sort of, like... Yeah. But here, okay, enough of me talking, let's get into the alternate ending that I, that I put back in. wasn't able to get it in good quality however I don't have the technology to make it like less graded as this but it works right here so here we go I was able to add some space effects along with um, black outlining uh, the character Glockland to appear in a way even though they, were, they didn't have green screen they had black mats which was a little mistake they did and they added some effects in the alternate ending where he's out in space or clouds or whatever so i added some of that in 
as well some extra added like smoke effects and everything. There's an effect. Um, this picture of him is from a, a deleted picture that I decided to uh, crop in green screen and add effects to make it look like he, to give the idea that becomes more human with added effects like um, uh, blood cells and inside the veins of a body and all that kind of stuff as well I added effects where there's like light and uh, his body disappears and it zooms out into uh, with the main characters as well the villagers and then it completely obviously fades but in a way that it looks like it zooms in on uh, McKellen's character's daughter and sees has uh, has the feeling of Lachlan is still alive so she goes all the way down to the keep into the tombs of uh, where Mosala was originally trapped and she finds him and guess what there's a little something a lot of people probably don't not realize is that from the all the way from the beginning of where um, Eva and uh, Glocklin's when they meet each other uh, you can see that that he has no reflection in the mirror. Now, in where he's, where he becomes mortal, that he has now a reflection in the water. So that's and also also speaking of um, details, there's a big detail I missed. A lot of people um, the misconception on this uh, plot detail. Lachlan's uh, the character Lachlan and Eva um, when they meet each other and they uh, well have sex. Um, apparently, it was all in a dream because this uh, Glocklin's character is able to. Um, they they sort of are, but it, they were having it inside of the dream world that Glocklin's character can provide from people, um, showing him like dreams and his uh, powers and everything. So it they really did get up. To, they did get together and you know, but uh, they also. But it was also. Like, in a way, it was all inside of a dream world kind of thing. And that follows up with some dialogue later on in the film anyway. So that's just something I wanted to mention because a lot of mis the misconception on that uh, part. Because they didn't admit, they, they get together and it gives, the, gives it off putting look that they immediately uh, get together and like it felt forced, right? Yeah, but there's also scenes taken out uh, plot details and everything, so I don't think it was meant to be really fast-paced with those two characters. Anyway. But also, it can give the idea that uh, he can be very... Uh, uh, Glocklin's character, even though he's supernatural, he could be very uh, possessive and persuasive, so he might have... Uh, not in, not by force or intentionally, but it just happened that way. Who knows, right? It's It's... It's just ideas, really. What else? Oh yeah, the ending, where I added like a little prologue at the end of uh, all the characters and some of them. It just, and then I made one where it's in current years and you get a brief story on in the other, the other books. And that's basically it. So, I just want to mention this and it's a cult classic film and the cult fans that might appreciate this, so. Just getting it out there anyway i hope you like this video and um i have my facebook pages in the descriptions down below as well some some links here and there for videos for this to do with this movie and in the future i i'm we'll get around to getting a twitter or instagram page um i wish i got one sooner because i sort of want to boost up uh i want to get myself more out there um, speaking of weeks ago, um, in another video I mentioned a film festival and I had to quickly make a film in under, has to be five minutes. I'll talk more about that, but I've won awards and I was, I was very, the, the film I made was very successful and, um, got an award, a, award for a best concept. So, anyway, see you guys.